So despite what all of YouTube seems to be telling us, we decided to go ahead and paint the entire interior of our travel trailer. No! God, please, no! 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 As you may have seen from our last video, we did a lot more demo than we initially intended. So why not make it a little bit more homey and just paint the whole thing? Whew, it is chilly in the trailer this morning. So yeah, we got a lot done yesterday. We finished up the sanding. We tried to get as much of the dust out of the air and off the surfaces. So yeah, I'm gonna finish up the taping and then I'm gonna patch up some of the screw holes in the walls with some spackle putty. So yeah, let's get going. Hopefully we can get some paint on the wall today. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Just make it look flat. Those are probably uh <laughs> maybe not that flat, like a little over. Like running over the side. A little bit. That don't look right either. <laughs> I'm gonna watch a YouTube video. <laughs> no, I need to watch a YouTube video. How to spackle. This is the new ride. Someone said I'm here because my six roommates and I got throwing stars for Christmas. We <laughs> really do a good job. Let's take the time and learn how to fill the nail holes, smooth out the blemishes and make a really smooth, nice finish. So Daniel just let me know that I am avoiding painting. I guess we were ready to paint like starting two hours ago and I just, I guess I'm afraid of messing up or having picked the wrong color paint. So yeah, I'm gonna stop avoiding the inevitable and I'm gonna start painting. It's been so long since I've been able to paint a room. It's just gonna be really nice to pick our own color palette and paint our cabinets and fully decorate this space to be our own home and not just a, a temporary place that we rent. I know it's just a trailer, but I don't know. I'm using it as an excuse to be creative and have fun with it. Like everything with a faux wood look is actually covered in <laughs> is I haven't told him yet so I just started on our first cabinets and I mentioned earlier that everything that had a wood finish was really covered with a contact paper which we didn't peel off because it's on literally everything And I just put the first coat of paint on there and it looks like paint doesn't want to stick to it. That's a very interesting problem because about half of what we need to paint is, is covered in this. And we've already like sanded it to the point that it looks pretty bad. So we need to figure out what we're gonna do. So it looks like all of the cabinets and closets and everything are actually a vinyl covered wood. Hopefully we've already sanded enough and we can just put a couple coats of primer on it and then do the color, but it's gonna be an experiment for sure. Maybe it's easier than we're thinking. Hopefully it's, it's definitely easier than we're thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking positive. So I've been ignoring what I've been needing to do for a couple days now. Like I mentioned earlier, the paint's really not wanting to stick to this laminate that's covering every square inch of all of the cabinets. I found out after a little bit more research, we really need to sand it a bit more. If you kind of look at it at an angle, you can see that there's still a little bit of sheen and pulled out the sander again. I really hate sanding. Man, this is a dumb, dumb mistake, but. Here we go. yesterday I kind of got off work and just 
hardcore painted as much as I could. I got the second coat done on the white and then I painted a fairly large area of greens. Does anybody else have this big of an issue picking paint colors? It's so much more difficult than it should be. Like it's just picking a color that you like, right? And then just painting it. What do you think if we do the lighter color green for the tops and then that Thai basil dark green for the bottom? I think it works. Kind of like looks retro with that cream above it too. Like a retro camper. Think you found our colors? I think we found our colors. Decision made. <laughs> All right, let's start some painting. I think I will start off in the bathroom. I have gotten so much done today. I've painted all the cabinets and the wall in the bathroom. And I am so excited that we did this. I know it's a lot of work, but we decided we just need to shift our mindset and really just enjoy the process of it. I'm super excited to get the second coat of paint on tomorrow and to see it once we have the desk up and we get some like natural wood color in here and see what it looks like when the tape's all removed. I am so close to being done at this point. I think this is the final day of painting. I just have to add a second coat of white to the bedroom and then finish up the cabinet doors. And look at this paint job. I'm loving this color scheme. I can't wait to see this face complete and moved in. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get back to work so we can move in. <laughs> Finally done painting and Daniel is so close to finishing up the desk build. We honestly couldn't be happier with the paint selection and we can't wait to move back in and finally start traveling full time. Thanks again for following along and keep an eye out for the final trailer tour video. Like a barista. Don't they do this with the drinks? Barista? <laughs> Not a barista. Uh, bartender? bartender. <laughs> Yeah, it's so late. I'm so ready to be done with this. We haven't even started. That looks so good. Petty. Speckle petty. I construct. That's crazy.